Hi, this is Vernio, and welcome to episode 3 of EverQuest Next Landmark. In this episode, we will be covering information relayed by phases 2.5 and 3 of the Alpha Development Roadmap. 2.5 is a term I've coined to talk about the additional content outside the main categories of phase 2. These are listed as new things to do, and it's quite the extensive list. The developers have been intentionally cryptic about this, but there are set to be changes to the way that you harvest trees, and the inclusion of plant harvesting. So for those aspiring gardeners out there, get your shears ready. Apparently this promises great things. Note to developers, make Noggin Fogger Elixir. Other than that, they're set to include new interactables. To spice up their new cave system, they're going to be implementing treasure chests that you can find in the network of tunnels. There will also be considerable alterations to the game's progression system. This comes in the form of recipes and the reforging and salvaging of tools. This should tie in really well with the official development diary for crafting and the relic system mentioned within. Link in the description. So where are you going to store all these nice new things? That's also been answered with the addition of new chests that you can craft in your claim. I think it's fair to say that the quality of a game often shines through in its UI, and they are set to improve landmarks. This will be achieved through the addition of a journal system that will store all of the information across your travels. No longer will you need a pen and paper next to your desk. On top of this, they're also adding achievements. Blimey, that was an awful lot to get through. Apologies. I've saved the best till last, however. The addition of water. It's important news for those who wish to utilise water in their claim, and in terms of development is a tiny nightmare. There are rumblings of positivity here, however, as per the recent Twitch roundtable. And finally we come to phase 3. These changes won't go live until after March, and there's an awful lot that can change from the plans currently listed. For example, they're set to improve the combat system based off of phase 2. Delays could therefore occur if the system doesn't run smoothly, or another system tied with it doesn't either. So take these updates with a pinch of salt, is what I'm saying. Phase 3 sees the introduction of PvP. This is extremely exciting because of the physics engine involved with it. For the first time we'll be able to see PvP responding to destructible landscapes. Along with that they're also set to introduce advanced combat. Personally, I hope this also means the introduction of a kind of class system. It's a long shot, but I imagine just hitting each other with swords could get old after a while. A good fireball to the face is more like it. Also, we'll see the addition of better AI. I'm somewhat daydreaming about the notion of being ambushed by the Chomper in this respect. If you've not heard of the Chomper, I'll put a link in the description below. They've also said that they'll be introducing more interesting physics features. I'm not entirely certain what they mean by this. Perhaps landslides? Lava flows? Hell, it could even mean meteors. Who knows? It's exciting though. Right, well that's it for today folks. I'll be back soon. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe. And if you feel very generous, I'd really enjoy your comments in the section below. Thank you and goodbye.